this story 10 years ago about the documents and all of that stuff. And it was known back then. Um, and all of it's coming out now, but it's after the fact. And uh, Aaliyah's not here right now. And uh, I really don't want to, you know, bring Aaliyah back up in this. You really, are, you know, uh, she's not here. And that's over. They let that go. Um, her parents didn't want to have nothing done. And, you know, that's just, you know, I want to help her. I don't want to be used as a witness to. Um, I, I told them when they, you know, interviewed me that I did not want to be. Um, I wrote it. Uh, if you read it, then I have to stand on my words. But I don't. You know what? This man irks my freaking nerve. The first thing he said, I wrote. The hell with your damn book, Demetrius Smith. I wouldn't care if I was in my vehicle and I broke down down a, in the middle of nowhere and I had to use the restroom and somebody accidentally left their book in there and I didn't have no toilet paper. I wouldn't rip a page out to wipe my ass with. You a dirty, low-down, sneaky-ass man. And uh, you just like a mosquito. They say like a, a, a wolf in sheep clothing. You like a, a damn snake in dog clothing. That's how I see you. You 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 dirty. You miserable. I, I see you eating well too. You you been eating well off off this situation here. You you done gained a little weight. You you you, you was you were, you can afford to go get your damn hair all colored and shit and, and and stuff. And you done put some wrinkle cream on and stuff. You were just miserable because you was fired for stealing and you was just a con artist. You and the other goddamn man. Barry, y'all know what y'all did. Y'all know what you did. I don't want to use the words to prosecute Robert Kelly because I feel like um, there's another part that people just don't realize and understand about this whole thing. I don't want to be used as a witness to hurt Mr. Kelly. And so I ain't afraid to say that because I'm saying it so y'all understand it. Yes, we understand if you go up there as a witness and you testify under oath, and especially in federal court, they're going to catch your ass in the line. They're going to lock your ass up. That's why. Okay? For one, everybody that's in this plot, in this scheme that y'all got going on, you felt like you was able to get over Robert for years. And you stole, and you plotted, and you cheated, and you lied. Along with, allegedly, Barry Hankerson, allegedly, you and Barry used this marriage thing as a publicity stunt you went and you purchased those that um fake id i'm not even gonna say fake because you went to a federal and you said out your own freaking mouth that you decided to do it you decided to go and get an id for alea for this license okay so you guys wanted to build her brand and you felt like building building her brand using the brand R. Kelly will help her launch her career. But because it backfired on y'all asses, then y'all all hush mouth and then your, your ass is upset. Barry allegedly and Demetrius Smith, your ass, because he no longer wants to deal with you guys. And he saw the snake in both of y'all asses. And so y'all want to use this and hold on to it and shit, and shit like that. So Barry, allegedly, you went to Aaliyah's mama telling her something different allegedly but it's a publicity stunt that went wrong and y'all ass are so upset especially you demetrius smith on your recording you was re on a recording you stated you could just hear the anger all these years your ass have you didn't decide to move on you looking at robert success you felt like you should have still been in his camp stealing and plotting and, and conning eating for free and stuff off him because your ass was nobody and at the same time, you guys still using this man's name to profit off of. You're still not in that. And that's theft. And how y'all doing it is theft. Y'all still stealing from Robert Sylvester Kelly. Y'all are thieves. And God don't like ugly. He do, he do not like ugly. Y'all, You guys, are, you're going to reap what you sow. There's a good karma and there's a bad karma. And every last one of y'all people trying to reap from this man's name in, in a negative way, in a scheming, plotting negative way. Real, you realize no good is going to come from it. 
You're planting the seed in some rotten soil and it's not going to grow. Then the hatred. Just, just listen to the video recording. The hatred that you got in your mind for Robert Sylvester Kelly because he didn't let you, he didn't piggyback ride your ass all the way. This man worked hard for his own stuff. Then you admitted that he has a disability. You admitted that he's artistic and his, he has um, reading problems. He's illiterate. And y'all guys, you, you people use that to try to gain. But then when he saw all the snakes and rats and roaches and rodents and he got some spray to get y'all ass up out of there, your asses are upset. And now y'all don't give a damn about him because you know you can't get back in his circle. So y'all don't give a damn. I'm going to ride this and try to get every damn I can off this man's name while it's hot. But it's not going to last, okay? It's not going to last. So I want to know who the hell you fooling getting on TMZ trying to say what you saying. Because them motherfuckers don't know all the stuff you've been putting out there in the YouTube world and social media world. They don't know. But we're going to put it out there for you. We're going to help you put that out there, okay? Because you wrong. You wrong. And that's the reason why you don't want to testify. Because you you know your ass don't get caught up in some lie. And I hope his attorneys eat your ass a lie. And I'm, I'm going to let y'all finish looking at, listen to this bastard speak. Because I don't have nothing else to say. Because I know me. Because when I get routed up, I get the curse and this stuff. And I, I'm not even going to tell a man to go to hell. Because his hell going to be on earth. He going to pay for every dirt that he has done. Okay? He's talking about he's a changed man. Only you and God know that. But you dirty. You should, you, what you should do, apologize and do the right thing for what you did to hurt this man. And you got so much anger, just like his formal group, MGM, one of them upset. Why the hell y'all upset? Y'all, if y'all was so much of the people that made Robert, why the hell he successful without y'all ass? If y'all was the reason why he's successful, and y'all no longer in his life and he's growing and he was doing better without you. Really? It's sad. Everybody shall reap what they sow when they do somebody wrong. You talking about he did you wrong? Look at it as business. I don't give a damn how close of a friend you are to him that you claim. Business is business. R. Kelly is a brand. That's business. And when you're messing up the R. Kelly brand and you're not doing right, that's even with a job. I don't care if you're working with your homeboys and he's a supervisor and he got your ass on a job. And then you go to that job and you're not doing right. And the head people tell you, you got to let your friend go or let this man go because he's not doing right and he has to go. So what you, you want the friends to leave too because he had to fire your ass? It don't work that way. That's business. Business is business. Business is business. Robert Sylvester Kelly owe nobody shit. But the people, the engineers that go in there and work and do the stuff they need to do to get his music put down, people that's setting up concerts and building the stages and stuff, people that's doing the work. He don't owe no, no damn gravy train riders, nothing. Get your own. For prosecutors, or, or were you just sent a subpoena? I was, I was sent for. I was, I was uh, ordered to talk to them, and um, but I said what I wanted to say. Did that go and, well? Like, how did that go? Because it doesn't. It doesn't go well because nobody's looking at the big picture. People are just looking at locking somebody up or trying to create a case. He's been a good person to everybody. I don't think he has, but at the same time, we don't want to see him locked up. Um, I think that Robert should get a psych evaluation. That's what I think. And um, from there, I think that's where they should, I think we should help him more so than hurt him. 